we've read online that you, in your early prototypes, you also used off-the-shelf components and cameras from classical camera companies like Canon. So what was the biggest challenge to get from there to having something which is space great and can be used in orbit? Yeah, I think uh, I need to be careful here because I don't want to give away the secret sauce recipe because <laughs> that's that comes very close to it. So that's one of the reasons how we have been able to keep a lot of our costs down is we've been able to basically build a process in-house and it's not a single technology, but it's like multiple different technologies that we had to design and engineer in-house um, to be able to take, you know, a lot of these commercial level sensors uh, that are built for space. And you can, once you start opening up a DSLR camera, you can tell that it's not really built for that. It's obviously built for, you know, regular user who may drop it on a hike somewhere, but not really something that can survive coronal mass evictions from the sun. So it's a lot of engineering effort that's gone into it. And I'd say like from our sensor design, that's, uh, uh, it's a significant portion of it. That's become a bit of a trade secret for us where we've been, we can basically take any caught sensor and we've built this entire hardware stack and software stack that can basically integrate that into a, a high performance base uh, rated hyperspectral sensor. 